the wastes. A horrid, desolate place where life must struggle to survive. Those not strong enough are either enslaved or destroyed. But for a chosen few, these few have the ability to not only survive, but thrive, and thrive in style. This is the tale of one such man, one they call the Roamer. Here is his chronicles, and these are his tales. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Diamond City. It's Badger Wild. Continuing our little uh, adventures in Fallout series, Roamer's Tales, uh, for those of you who don't know. No, I've got to punch you in the face if you mouth at me again, problem. Anywho, as we've been running through, probably don't know what happened last time. Last time, we saved the Detective Nick Valentine. And now for once, me and Dog's going to see if we can figure out what actually happened to little baby Sean. Yep, it's really Nick. Do you know he was a synth? You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. I doubt it. Oh, hi there. This agency and my job. Thank you. Hmm. Metal detective delivery. That's your sir. Happy to be in a niche market. That's for sure. Here, every cat we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. Oh, you, know, you really are nice. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time. A new friend needs our help first. All hmm. right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. All right. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful. Hmm, it seems like you've done this before. Let's start with Sean. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care. And a baby needs a lot of it. You're darn right. You tell me? We'll Let's see. My wife, wife was killed. Murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Yeah, and I got an agenda, too. The take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And, of course, there's the institute. I'm more interested so in the institute. This institute is responsible. Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Got his prototype anyway. Ah, oh, that confirms my suspicions. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their track. Arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth and fend for itself. Yeah, that seems legit. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Wow. I thought I had a depressing existence. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. Speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? A leather-clad, bald dick. Wait. It couldn't be. 
You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Way too big of a coincidence. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Well, I can't be my kid. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10 year old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. You know what? I really hope Kellogg is there, Nick. Actually, no, I don't hope he's there because I've got something special in store for him. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Bad news. You read the paper? He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, but they're all dead. Except you. Yes, but I'm exceptional. And this should deter anybody from getting in here. I'm pretty sure he does. Me? Frick. I won't be able to pick this. Ah, I can't pick it. See that platform in the distance? The city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Hmm. The dog's a little stuck at the moment. All right. It's time to go pump the mayor for information. I don't think I've ever met the mayor. Wow, why live here? Unless you really want to look at people from a far distance. Oh god, no. <laughs> or cover up a little less. Um, uh, yeah, what? That's good. I want to know what you're here for. Oh, how did I fail that? <sighs> Sorry, darling. Even Trump don't like the press. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Uh, I'm gonna lie and say I'm with Clinton. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? All right, you common whore. Here you go. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again. Moving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Uh-huh. Thanks. Bye. See, dog, some women are just floozies. Dog, I, I really would not do that. I would go down the ele yeah, go down the elevator. No dog. Dog. Oh, this is bad. Better not pee on me. Did you get... Oh, well, nope. Nick's not inside. And he's blowing another joint. Got the key? All right. Let's head in. I hate to tell you this, Nick. Okay, but I hate to tell you this, but I don't think that uh, doobie is going to have any effect on you that uh, does with regular people, Nick. Just saying. Okay, let's see what he liked. He liked clipboards, screwdrivers, ball peen hammers. Oh, Jeanette's snout. Handcuffs. Ooh, Kellogg was kinky. I got handcuffs and candles up here. Hmm. I wonder what the pot was used for. What have we here? That's that's kind of not very well hidden, dog. Let's push the button. 
God, I hope this doesn't blow the place up. What happened? Oh, I grabbed the ball bean hammer. Okay. Wish me luck, dog. That or we're both going to end up in either heaven or hell. That depends on how good of a life you've been leading, bub. Looking at you, I'm pretty sure you've been pretty sinful. Oh, hey! Now I know we're not dead, are we? Here we go. Let's see what this little place is. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco sunlights. Hmm. Oh, but he's got Nuka Cola. Huh? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to you? Oh, okay, here you go. Here's a smart ass comment. What? The great clockwork dick is stumped. That way, you might as well get the make and model right. Before you head out, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Yeah, you know what? More the merrier. All right. Your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Okay, dog. Dog. Oh frick, where'd you go? Come on, buddy, where are you at? I need you to sniff this guy out. Oh, dog's doing his disappearing act again. Okay, dog. Dog meat. Oh, your name changed. Oh, there we go. Here you go, buddy. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. There you go, buddy. I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. That's it. I'm officially crazy. Yep. Commonwealth will do that to you, bub. I've got a Tommy gun here, but I really don't want to have to use this if I can help it. Which way, buddy? Come on, dog. Yeah. It's going to be weird calling you dog meat from now on. Nah, I guess I'll get used to it. Come on, Nick. We got to go take this guy out. Hmm. This is not good. Well, that is not good. Oh, yes, of course. You idiots gotta all join up. All right, you legendary piece of crap. Take this. All right, enough playing around. Break out the searing shish kebab. Yeah, ain't so tough with a, with me and a flaming sword, are ya? Game dog, yeah, rip his throat out. Nick, we gotta upgrade that gun of yours. I'm blaming this little attack on Kellogg. I, I'm blaming this all on him. Reload and prepare for a firefight. Ah, oh, really? You just gotta mutate, don't you? Got plenty of 10 millimeter for you, buddy. Yeah, stupid dogs. I don't know about you, uh, Nick, but I am eating through 10 millimeter right now. <laughs> Little legendary monsters are a pain in the butt. And yeah, we have a dead Brahmin up here. I wonder if Kellogg. Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. Um. Oh, we'll shoot for that. Come on, die already. Yeah, this pea shooter ain't gonna do it. The frick did you come from? Take this, sucker. There we go. My God, that thing was big. Yeah. Golly. What? Oh, come on. Again. You messed up today, man. There you go. Oh, if it just can't get any better than that, huh? Hey, 
Hang on, Nick. I got you. There we go. Oh, good lord. That was stupid. <laughs> Kellogg's gonna die for this. I've ate through Don't most of my 45 ammo. <sighs> uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's just annoying if all this crap has decided to start showing up. <sighs> Dang mongrels. Uh, dang everything. Darn it all. All right. What'd you find down here, buddy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, don't oh, shoot, shoot! All right, Kellogg, you jackass. Just my luck, something really stupid would happen before long. We're getting further out, though. I only got 24 rounds, but I think Matilda would be a good... Ah, uh, oh, jeez. I... Oh, cripes. Nope. No, we're not. Hang on, Nick. Yeah, stupid. More zombies. Come on, zombie boy. Yeah. You don't have anything. All right. Another one. It's not going to work, bub. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I have a flaming sword of anti-zombie. Huh? Thought I heard a... Come here. There we go. Yeah, choke your arm off. Oh, and I went up a level. Awesome. We got another one, dog. Come on, big boy. No, you don't. Yep, sorry. I moved a little too fast for you. Oh. Mean. Ow, mean. Whoa, I don't know what that was. Let's see how you handle this. Combo attack. Oh, gee, you knocked out my combo attack. There we go. Oh, no, not these things again. Uh, why is it every time we run into something, Nick? On finding Kellogg, it's like 50 things come after us at one time. How many people did he piss off? Gee whiz. Oh, some bottle caps. Oh, oh, dog's walking. Let's put this up. And give me another liquidized foreskin right there into my chest. Man, you're way back there, dude. Need to upgrade those motor functions or something, dude? Or maybe a processor? You know, on eBay, they got a pretty good deal on graphics cards. Maybe that might help you out in your vision. I don't know. I think someone did just for the heck of it. Ah, uh, more crap. <sighs> Man, Kellogg is so gonna die. He's so gonna die. All the bull crap I have to deal with this guy. I mean, mmm. Whoa, those weren't there before. Hmm. All right, hey puppy. This it? Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? Uh huh. Meet with Sniff our man out. Let you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Dog meat did a heck of a job. You are good there. boy. You good boy. That's where Kellogg is. And I ain't ready to take him just yet. I told you, I want to know where he was, and then I'm going to deal with him in my time. My plan? We're going back to Sanctuary, and we're coming back. With more guns, more firepower, and one very interesting way to kill Kellogg. It involves fire. Lots and lots of fire.